You know, I had a, a, a nice little thing I was going to put together. It's Black Friday, uh, which I don't know if that's, is that just an American thing? I guess it is. But the day after Thanksgiving has kind of, for a long time, been recognized as the unofficial beginning of the Christmas shopping season. A lot of stores and stuff will have big sales and, and all that. I'm sure you, even if you're not from the United States, you've heard of Black Friday. And so I thought, well, since this is going up on Black Friday, I'd highlight some uh, some merch because, uh, as you know, don't forget your YouTubers. A lot of YouTubers uh, have their merch up. You know, it's, it's a good way to support the, the channels, and because you know, some of them have some pretty interesting stuff. I was going to talk more about that, and then YouTube just had to screw it up. I'm going to see if I can squeeze both things in here. Because so really, just real quick. Let me interrupt your ride for a second. I'm going to show you a few pictures of some merch of just a few channels if you're looking for a unique gift. So let me just interrupt your ride for a second and show, throw up a few pictures. This is a coffee cup from uh, Justine Stafford. That's uh, somebody that I've been following lately. And this is somebody I, I really think has a chance to go somewhere. I'm kind of a big Justine Stafford fan. She's got these, uh, she's from Nauber, Ireland. And that's a, a nice, unique thing. Yeah, this coffee cup there, where she's got shirts and she's got a lot of other merch. This next one is uh, Mr. Ganderman. He just came out with some new merch. Looks really cool. Uh, a t-shirt here. Of course, he also has other other items in his store. That you can go check out uh, the steel one. He's got some, uh, also some uh, some fairly new merch. He's still got some of his original merch up for sale. Uh, this is a hoodie we're showing you here. Uh, ready for fun. A guy I've been following for a long time. He, this is a long sleeve tee. He's got several different uh, several different items in his store as well. Uh, T-shirts, stickers, uh, coffee cups. And then uh, Super Enthused, our, our 100th channel and YouTube suggestions. That's a tote bag. Uh, again, she's got several different uh, different items in her store I just think it would be a nice unique item a way to help support your your fellow youtubers or your the channels that you follow and help out some of these youtubers and then I will also point out I have some merch too you can get the coffee cups there I've also got uh, a teespring uh, I found that uh, Zazzle has more stuff but teespring their t-shirts are a little more uh, a little higher quality. You can also have a little more control over the price on Teespring. But look, look at your YouTubers pages, and and if you if you're looking for some unique Christmas presents, don't don't forget your YouTubers. That's that was the basic message that I was wanting to put out. But for now, and I just I wanted to put this out just because just in case you missed it, and if you missed it, you're probably not alone. Because YouTube has has not exactly made it a secret that they they just don't care about small YouTubers anymore. Channels like this, they just don't care. And on November 18th, sorry, I'm going to interrupt your view one more time. I got I got an email, which I'm sure I'm not the only one that got the email. But they announced some uh, changes to their terms of service and and this that, and the other. And this was three of the things here. Uh, facial recognition restrictions. You know, that, that's fine. The royalty payments and tax withholding, whatever. It's the one in the middle that really caught my eye. YouTube's right to monetize. They have added that YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program. A quick little F you to the small channels that they just wanted to slip in there. So basically that's saying like a channel like this one. I have the, the minimum requirements for subscribers. I do not get the watch time needed to monetize. And I'm pretty far from it. A uh, little, little over halfway. I think you have to have uh, 4,000 watch hours. I'd, I'd land somewhere in the 25 to 2,600 
uh, range over over 365 days, and they're gonna and some tell you they're gonna find more and more reasons to not monetize people. But now they've just ba basically made it where a channel like this one, and I think I'm a pretty good example. While I'm not monetized, and I don't get a ton of views, and I don't get a, a ton of watch time, I have a handful of videos that actually do pretty good. Uh, my Parker House Investigation videos got over 32,000 views. For a channel this size, that's that's really good. Another in another video that's over uh, 13,000 views. I've got just a handful of other videos. Uh, the the Texas. Uh, Texasville and, and Last Picture Show uh, filming locations, they steadily get views. Uh, they're all over 2,000, 3,000 views, except for the, the most recent one that hadn't been out that long. While they don't get a, a big swarm of views all at once, they do well. They, they just consistently, every week, I'm getting at least a few views on it. Well, now YouTube can take those videos, stick an ad on it, and they make money, I'll make nothing. So not only have they changed their requirements for you to monetize and try and make money, they've now made it where they don't care if you do or not, just openly. They don't, it, as a matter of fact, they'd rather you didn't, because then they don't have to share the money with you. And it really makes me wonder, I've seen a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, talk about some of the things I've been experiencing. I, I have been, I am just at a standstill basically on gaining subscribers. I've hit 1,200 subscribers about six times now, and I keep falling back down. For at least two months, I have basically bounced back and forth between 1,193 and 1,200. Every time I hit 1,200, I'm there. I'm never there for. Uh, the first time I hit it, I was there for like 20 minutes, and then fell back to 11.99, and then continued to fall all the way back down to 11.93. I've hit it five more times since then. It'll be a few hours, come back, oh, I'm at 11.98. But I've noticed that's happening to a lot of people. It starts with a step. It's trying to trying to hit that thousand subscribers. I actually hit it briefly, uh, then fell back down to like 9.97. I went back, uh, you know, a couple of days later and looked. She was at 9.92. I think the last time I saw her, she was back up to 9.95. She's doing the same thing as I am. She's bouncing back and forth. Uh, a lot of views disappearing, and it just seems kind of strange, doesn't it? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to put on a uh, too big of a of a uh, tinfoil hat here, but it just seems like with all their automated systems and just the way they're doing things, they're just, act, it, it has the appearance that they're actively trying to push small channels back down. It's not just, oh, we're gonna stack the cards against you. They're, they're not even gonna deal us in. Now, again, as I've said before, I've, you know, if I never monetize, I don't care. I'm just, you know, I'm not that concerned about it with myself, but I still want to be treated fairly. Like I said, when I first started doing a view from the middle, and I've said it, I've said it many, many times before. I didn't think I'd have that many subscribers. I thought if I was lucky, I'd, I'd get 50. And when it got to the point, it's like, hey, I might actually hit that thousand. It wasn't really a, a, an open goal to mount monetize, but I thought, well, hey, if I get there, then hey, yeah, heck, I'll go ahead and monetize. So even though it's not it's not that big of a deal to me, I still want to be treated fairly. And so now it just makes me wonder how many times have they taken away views that I didn't catch it? it yeah, it, it's pretty obvious that uh, it, it's so weird, but they're pushing things toward the bigger channels and these more notable names and they're wanting they're wanting you to watch CNN's channel and they're wanting you to watch Fox News's channel and they're wanting you to watch Will Smith's channel and they're wanting you to watch you know the AMC channel and and stuff like that because that's where their money is and it is the total opposite of what YouTube was how far is it going to go 
officer is hitting Omar Gosh. So I guess if you if you have a channel on YouTube, have you noticed? Uh, which that that's another thing. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of blurting all this crap out. They they sent that email out on November 18th. Policy changes that went into effect on November 18th. That's another thing that ticks me off. Is like you didn't even get a chance to. They didn't give us any notice. Hey, this is coming such and such day. They sent it out the same day the thing the thing went live. The same day the policy went into effect. So if you've got a smaller channel that is not monetized, maybe you've chosen not to monetize. Have you noticed that uh, you've got an ad? At least on my top three most viewed videos, no ads as of yet. So maybe I'm just uh, being a conspiracy theorist. But it sure seems like they're uh, they're just setting themselves up to, if, if, unless you're a, a, one of these big channels, you're one of these channels that have really taken off, unless you're a, a good mythical morning that's got 16 million subscribers and is, is bringing in a ton of money already, they're just going to stand on you and they're going to they're make money off you while you get nothing. That's sure the way it seems. So, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed listening to my conspiracy theory. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, whatever this was. <laughs> Check out those merch stores, though. It's, again, it's, it's just, it's, I think now more than ever, this is another thing, another Another log on the fire, making it uh, even more important for small channels to support each other. I've always put the, the little outtake or, or bonus footage at the end. I'm thinking about changing that and doing something else. Uh, did not take the time to, to get anything ready, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe after the first of the year, maybe I'll just do that and I'll, I'll figure something out for after the first of the year. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to make sure this one gets out there. Uh, I've used this clip a couple of times in different ways. Uh, this is the full little outtake uh, when I went with What Paranormal and George TV the Fam to uh, Goatman's Bridge in Denton, Texas. And of course, George is—he uh, was just being goofy. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this. As we're uh, we're getting ready to go to Goatman's Bridge. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Leaving your litter all over the place. I didn't do that. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. Crazy. What am I thinking? <laughs> George! <laughs> the bug? I think, I think the low altitude just got you giddy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs>